there's that man again. Well, if you are anything like me, you love getting packages in the mail. New fragrance alert. Stay tuned. What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to the Teddy Files. I'm your fragrance sommelier, Mr. Dearest Teddy. And today, we're going to be talking about a brand new fragrance that I just got in the mail. This is by Corbage, I believe that is what it's called. That's what it says on the bag, Corbage. So, here is, well, get rid of the box here, or the bag. Here is the box that the fragrance comes in. His name is Corbage. It is a uh, extract de parfum concentration. It is called Toxic Desire. So let's get the fragrance out. The fragrance rests in here. You got some writing on the inside here. And that is the fragrance right there inside of the box. Beautiful bottle. Very beautiful bottle. So nice heft to it. This is, uh, this is the bottle. Corbage. Toxic Desire. You got a little writing on the top. Plastic top. Kind of cheap. A little heft to it, but it's a little cheap, cheap top. But you do have the, uh, the insignia and everything on the top of the atomizer, but nobody gives a damn about that. What does it smell like? Well, let me turn off this fan over here. And uh, let's see what it smells like. Get it up in the air. Nice atomizer. Wow. Definitely smells Middle Eastern. Uh, it is um, from a company in Dubai. So you can definitely smell the Middle Eastern influence in it. Let's see if we got some some fragrance notes in here somewhere. Uh, let's see. So, I don't have any fragrance notes right up here immediately. But what I can do is, um, since I ordered the fragrance... I'll go ahead and pull it up on my phone and uh, see what we're working with here. So, right now in the air, uh, it smells pretty damn good, man. I'm loving it. Like I, it, it, it smells very resinous, um, very incense forward. Not sure if there's incense in it or anything like that. I know when I saw it, I, this was an impulse buy for me, so I saw it. It kind of got me with the commercial Instagram. Damn it. You got me with that commercial. But um, I think I saw the fragrance notes at that time. And um, I was pretty impressed. I was pretty impressed with what I saw. And um, let's see. Let's go into their website. This is their website. So up on here now. So they have three fragrances so far from what I can see. Uh, well, four actually. So let's go with the one that I got here, Toxic Desire, and the let's see the fragrance notes. So you have cognac oil, caramel, oak absolute, cinnamon essence, tonka bean. Those are the middle notes, and your base notes of sandalwood, praline, and vanilla. Now, do I smell any of that? In the air, no, it really smells very incense forward, so I'll spray it on hand. I have a fragrance on now, but I don't have anything on my hand, so I'll go ahead and get it right here. That atomizer's nice, man. Okay, so wave off some of the alcohol. Let's see uh, what we're working with here. Okay, okay. A lot of that sweetness is coming out. Don't really get the caramel right away. Um, cognac and cognac and caramel are the supposedly the opening notes. Don't really get that. I do get the oak. Um, getting the, getting some of the tonka bean now and uh, the sandalwood. But it, like I said, it smells very incense. 
but there's no incense in the uh in the fragrance notes but i do smell like a a, a strong note of incense but it's not uh overpowering it's just you can you can smell incense in it um i'm surprised i thought it would because i do smell the I smell a little bit of oud as well, but there is no oud in the notes. But it's a it's a nice nice scent. Has a little bit of sweetness to it, of course, in the tonka bean and vanilla and um, the praline. Because the praline is starting to come out now, so you're getting a little bit more sweeter in the dry now. Yeah, this is really good, man. This is actually much so much better off skin because you're starting to get the uh, the notes are starting to come up as far as with the heat coming from my skin. So you're getting a lot more of that. And now I'm getting a little bit more of the uh, caramel. Hmm. So the scents are coming through backwards, but they're coming through. I paid about, um, about 70 bucks for this. So uh, 100 ml. I said it's an uh, extra de parfum, but I said, I just got, I got, I just got home. It was sitting at my front door. Um, it came pretty fast. I think I ordered it four days ago, three or four days ago, and it's already here. So, uh, yeah, just so they, they, um, it comes pretty fast. Presentation is really good. You know, like I said, you got this, it comes in this box here. And, uh, they sent it with the bag. They have a sample as well. Um, I didn't bring the sample in because I want to actually just get in camera and just with a, uh, just my honest opinion or my first opinion. On this fragrance and um oh yeah i'm gonna get some wares out of this it's definitely winter time so it it would be way too strong way too strong to try to do this in the summertime so i would not advise this but winter yeah this will work this is gonna work like oh so i'm getting a lot more of that cinnamon now a lot more of that cinnamon this is really good man I don't know about the longevity just yet. Just got it. Um, I'm going to do some test sprays. I actually have a Harlem Nights party that I'm going to tomorrow. I'm trying to decide which fragrance I'm going to wear. Not sure if I'm going to do this one. Um, I had a couple of them lined up that I was thinking about uh, wearing tomorrow. That's what happens when you have all of this stuff behind you. It takes way too long to pick out a fragrance. Man. But um, now I've added to it. Because... Is getting better it wasn't bad in the beginning but as as the dry down happens you're starting to get a little bit a little bit more creamy and powdery from that sandalwood and the vanilla it's almost a powdery vanilla it's not like a thick a thick rich vanilla it's a powdery vanilla um almost like the um prada luna rosa or prada luna rosa black kind of powdery like that but there's just, it's a lot more complex. There's a lot more complex uh, things going on here, but this is a good one, man. This is a good one. Um, I would definitely say it was worth what I paid for it off of scent alone. Like I said, I don't know how long the fragrance lasts, but I will be putting it into the rotation this week and um, I'll do a full video on how it smelled on different pulse points and how long it lasted on my skin. But uh, so far, I'm impressed. So um, I'll go ahead and put a link for these guys in the description box of this video and um, I'll take my word for it. If you can get a sample or, or try it out for yourself, like I said, I blind bought it, but I'm insane like that. And a lot of the stuff behind me is blind buys. So you don't have to be crazy like me. You can get a sample. But for me, this is a win. Yes. So to Toxic Desire by Cobage. It was worth it for me. So, real short video. Didn't have to take that long. Like I said, just got it in the mail. Wanted to come up and talk about it immediately. Uh, it's a really good fragrance. Um, and yeah, I would say get a sample of it. Try it out. See if you like it for yourself. And um, if you like what, uh, what I talked about today, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the content because it helps the channel grow. And please, if you get a hold of this, once I put the link in the description box, you get a hold of it. Go ahead and um, uh, reach back out to me and let me know what you think about it. I actually think it's a really good scent. Like I said, I'm going to get some wares out of it. And wait a minute. Some of the cognacs come out. Like, <laughs> the, the fragrance, the, 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 uh, the different scents are coming out in different moments. 
when I just waved my hand in front of me, I smelled the cognac. But um, yeah, it's a it's a pretty good scent. It's a pretty good scent. I would say uh, it's definitely worth getting your hands on. But once again, like I was saying, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the content because it helps the channel grow. And remember, my name is Mr. Dierris Teddy, your fragrance sommelier. And over here, we don't do stink. And even in blind buys. So please, don't be a stink ass. Have a good one. Thank you.